Hey folks, hope you're having a good afternoon. Today we're continuing our brutal difficulty playthrough of Space Haven Alpha 15. Let's get started. And let's see where we left off. We've got a bunch of mining to do here. Um, let's take a look at our fundamentals. We've got a pretty good amount of Hyperium, uh, plenty of Energium. Uh, we're a little bit low on water, but we have some ice here, so that's okay. we got some more ice coming on board. Um, and then we got a lot of building materials and stuff to work with. Um, so we're pretty much just chugging along at this point. We don't have any urgent um, situations going on. Uh, we are low on hull blocks, but that's just a matter of our industry getting caught up because we have plenty of scrap. So we're just going to chill in this sector for a while and do some mining. And uh, I think we'll just weather the solar fire. I think we can afford to do that now that we have shields, finally. Um, we could even... have somebody go to ops. Somebody's already going to ops, good. John... John's gonna go to ops and check out the flare. See how long until it arrives. Nine hours. Okay, we got time. Probably not going to get all this mining done in nine hours. But it's nice to have this early warning. Uh, let's see what time is it now. 13. So about when it gets to there is when the flare is going to hit. We do have somebody monitoring the situation, which is good. We can think about skipping the base metals. Let's skip that. Uh, and let's skip the chemicals. I think we want the ice is the big thing. Looks like we're not going to get it before the flare hits. When we get down to one hour, we're going to get everybody in their spacesuits in the case there's a fire on board so we can respond to it quickly. There we go. And we're building our new couple pods. Uh, we just brought a bunch of prisoners on board, so we can also check and see how they're doing. 5% uh, chance to convert isn't bad. We're already recruiting this guy, and then we're still working on Chronos. Let's see how we do here. No fire so far. Oh, that was nothing. damage to the recycler here. Nothing out of the ordinary. We're a little low on food, actually. We might have to expand our grow bed capacity. We're sort of, you can see we're not uh, keeping up with our grow bed demand, though, uh, in terms of our botany skill. We're also still working on the medical task, trying to get up to medical six. Um, who do we have that's our ship's doctor? Dayton is working on it. Dayton is the closest. Alright, we got a prisoner, our first recruit. Eric, welcome aboard. Eric is a former lab technician and a gourmand. He is good at botany, which is very nice, medical research, and he's okay-ish with weapons. Uh, he's good at navigation and operations, and potentially pretty good at shielding. Not too bad. Um, and he'll help out with basically a bunch of stuff on board. He's probably going to be taking over a lot of the research, I think. Um, he's also okay in a fight, so we could think about adding him to our second away team, which I think I'm going to do here. We do have two shuttles now. Um, let's see if we have any weapons on board. I think we do. We can actually look here. Um, this requires weapons five, so we can't use the laser rifle, but he can use the machine gun. We could make him a regular assault rifle, which would be a little bit better for him. Uh, let's see what we got here. We don't have any plastic right now, but we do have chemicals and carbon, so that shouldn't be an issue, really. Yeah, 
let's get this chemicals. So now I get caught up with some shipboard tasks here. There we go. Let's see how Kronos is doing. 3.6% chance to convert still. Food is kind of a problem. Let's see, if I wanted to expand, uh, we need to build another hyperdrive first if I wanted to expand the ship's footprint. Uh, we need another tech lock for that. I think we're going to go ahead and start building that. We can do that after we jump, however. Oh well, I guess we'll just wait. We're not in a big hurry. So we actually do have some units of food in here. We've only got fruit, it looks like. One unit of fruit. Did we get the work done here for the item fabricator? Where was that? That's done, which means that our rifle must be around somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. We should probably set up a roll. Um, rifle's going to be moved to the storage, it says. Currently here. Let's, let's make this one our armor. Actually, I want to make this one the armory, so let's put a minimum of one of every weapon type here. The reason I'm picking this one is because it's closest to the entrance here. So we needed to grab a weapon in a pinch in the middle of a firefight. This would be the, our best bet, probably. Here we go. I'm still not done with our hull construction yet. All right, we got another prisoner on board, Silveressa. Welcome. Silveressa is decent second line fighter. Oh, we gotta wait for Daisy to get out of the mining pod before I can update the command groups. Um, she is a moody former psychologist who's good at medical and research and operations. Okay, there we go. We got, there's our second away team all set. So we need a submachine gun for Silver S. I think we already have one on offer. That's based on her weapon skill, which is currently two. I thought it was in the storage that I, oh, I guess we moved it over here. I could have sworn there was a submachine gun in this. There is one here, it's right there. So what's the issue here? This is super weird. Uh, let's change the loadout. Primary submachine gun. That should do the trick, I think. She'll figure out where it is and find it accordingly. And then let's also do the same. Oh, Eric's getting medical treatment. That's good. It's an opportunity for us to level up our medical skill. I guess Eric must have been... He got a chronic wound while he was when he was taken prisoner. Um, let's go ahead and check his loadout as well. Oh, he's got body armor. How about that? That's cool. Didn't expect that. I think that came with him when he came on board. Um... So Eric is going to get an assault rifle. Let's have her go collect her gear. As soon as she wakes up, I'm assuming. Oh, and let's uh, queue up the building of the hyperdrive.
What is she doing? She's not picking up the submachine gun. Maybe the collect gear thing only works for... This is a bug. Select an item and let out some machine gun. Where's the submachine gun? It was in this storage. I think it maybe got moved to this storage. There we go. She still doesn't have one. Okay, let's try to draft her and get her to come over here. Here we go. Weird. Alright, um, and then Eric... You've already got an assault rifle, that's good. Okay, we've got one more prisoner on board, Krenus, who still doesn't want to be converted. He's our lone holdout here. Let's move on, though, to another sector. Let's see. Um, I want to stop in this sector and get the carbon for sure. I think we've already explored this derelict. It looks like we're getting ready to move on to the next sector here. We're almost done with the resource-rich sector. So this was our big windfall. Uh, this is not on the power grid. That's a problem. Looks like we could still operate the hyperdrive without power. It just takes longer. Um, maybe let's try to get that fixed, though, before we get underway. Daisy can work on it. Sorry, Daisy. I don't want to interrupt your dinner there, but it's important. All right, we got our hyperdrive power online now. Let's get on the road. Got to think about getting our sensor jammer online so that we can start boarding enemy ships with impunity without worrying about our ship getting destroyed. That's a thing that I want to get to soon rather than later. I also got to make sure... Oh, we got a composter. Nice. I also want to make sure that we have enough pods for everybody. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got ten. Perfect. So we're good to go there. I'm thinking about making a couple units of plastic for trade. I don't want to make too many, though, because this is probably going to be, like, all the carbon we're going to get for the rest of the game, more or less. And it's going to have to power a lot of grow beds. We need to get into some boarding combats, though, and fighting some aliens so that we can get some more medical experience for our crew. Eric's getting medical treatment again, that's good. Everybody's got comfort, comfort and privacy, that's good. Hopefully everybody, anyway. I wonder if Casey and Rafferty will ever forgive each other. Still enemies with Rafferty. They're really both in a good mood, though. I'm going to try an experiment. We're going to give them, let's see, Casey and Rafferty. I'm going to give them some overlapping rest time at a time when multiple other members of the crew are available to help them sort out their differences. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. So I want to see if they can eventually come to terms. 
So Rafferty has idle time there. Casey has idle time there. I think this is okay. I think this is good enough. Um, maybe we'll give Casey an extra hour here. Almost. And then we have to also give Rafferty a little bit of rest time, I think, leading up to that. So everybody in the crew is going to have a break at this time, basically, except for, I guess, Daisy. I have to rejigger the schedules a little bit so that we don't have everybody using the kitchen and the beds at the same time, because we only have so many beds and only have so much kitchen space. Oh, we got food stocked in the kitchen again. That's good. Let's look at our tech tree and see what we're working on currently. We have bulletproof vest is paused. We're working on fibers. I feel like that's maybe not the best thing we could be working on, although we'll get us bulletproof vests. <coughs> I think we might want to think about working on robotics, actually. Artificial meat is also a possibility, advanced nutrition. Um, but I think that requires some research, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this requires three root vegetables and three fruits, which is quite a lot. And then from that, we get artificial meat for free. We're going to try to work on that. I think we can maybe afford to do that now. It's going to take some time because we're not going to have the food readily available always. Okay, Rin and Nebula, we have to remember, so our shields are down right now. Uh, we want to... Okay, good. The cultists are moving on. Perfect. Everybody's got a blue checkbox. Very good. Watch our crew come out of hypersleep. There we go. How you doing, Kratos? Still 3.5%, huh? Stubborn, that guy. All right, shields are back up, so let's proceed onward. Oh, shields are about to go down again. Oh, well. Um, I want to make sure there's no enemy ships in this next sector ahead here before we drop at the nebula. Looks like we're okay there. So we're going to send both away teams this time, because we're getting kind of late in the game. We're expecting to encounter more nests and stuff like that. target practice. So we saw one hauler. So far, nothing terrible. We're at the point now where we could think about taking on a full nest with multiple haulers with the size of crew that we have. I think it's I think it's doable. But it doesn't seem like we're hitting that scenario yet so far. Oh. Okay, see alone. It's okay if we get a couple wounds here. It's going to help out our medical practice.
thought there was another bug over here somewhere. Wasn't there? Just saw him a minute ago. There he is. There we go. You sure everybody's good on oxygen? I think we're okay. And I think we're done. All right, we've explored the civilian ship Ladybird. Got some energy, nice, um, an energy block, very good. Some fruit, which we can use for our experiments and some medical supplies, awesome. Most of our guys are going back home to work on shipboard tasks, which is good. All right, Eric's getting some medical practice in. Uh, I actually don't want Eric doing medicine because he doesn't have a medical cap of six. And so he's never going to be able to install cyberware, no matter what he does. Two pirate ships coming in this sector. Hoping we can get this done before then. I think we can. Not sure if we'll get the ice done. Looks like we might. Okay. We could salvage more resources from this, but I think we got all the stuff that we critically need. Who's our main medic? Was it Dayton? It's Dayton. Silveressa is also a good medic. I think Dayton has the most experience currently. Um, all right, let's get somebody on the con and get ready for lunch here. Uh, I forgot we're in the nebula, so we gotta be extra careful to get out of here quick. You know, it looks like they're actually leave leaving the sector, potentially. Um, I don't know that I want to go that way. We can stop here at the military line station. I was debating whether I wanted to go gather more resources elsewhere first. It's a little tiny guy. The Military Alliance Base Cyborg Alpha Station. Sounds like something from a movie, movie or something. Uh, we could sell them some refined hyperfuel. Uh, we're going to buy all their tech blocks. We might think about buying some energy blocks as well. I think we're going to buy at least one. We'll see about buying more in a little bit. I'm thinking about selling them some chemicals. I think we're going to sell them some chemicals. That's a good first trade. Let me make sure we get the targeting jammer research done. Let's check that real quick. That is done. So we could actually build a targeting jammer now. Hey, Rahel, then. How's it going? Go with the targeting jammer. I think I want it over here. Is it echoing? Sorry, I forgot to test it. Um, shoot, let me, um, see if I can quickly fix that. Thank you. 
Let me see if I can. Can you hear me still? Going once, going twice. Oh, okay, weird. All right, thanks. Uh, I guess I'll keep it like that then. I don't know what's going on with my recording software. It seems to randomly change my device settings all the time for no apparent reason. Uh, thanks for the feedback, I appreciate it. Is it? Shoot. For now, I'm just going to turn the music down. I'll try to fix it properly in between streams. Um, let me... Let me know if that's better. Yeah, I have, it, I have it set up to where it's supposed to, like, um, it's supposed to ramp down the volume of the game whenever I talk, but it's just, I guess it's not working properly for whatever reason. Um, I think I'll put this in its own separate compartment, that seems good. Um, I need a door here, I guess. to be like that. There we go. I think about moving this door down one. I think I will do that to leave room for a bigger generator or some other equipment here. figure out if I can sell anything here, make some money. I don't, um, I might sell like 10 units of biomatter just to get it out of my inventory. It's pretty useless, um, since I don't have composters online yet. I'm getting there. I should start building some composters actually since I have the technology now. I'm not sure where to put them yet though. I kind of want to save room back here for more industrial stuff. Think. Or maybe another shield. Which probably means I'm going to put composters back in this area over here. Let's take a look at that. They tend to take a while and just crank away on their own, so I think we could put two of them in the back there and that'll be fine. Notice how asymmetrical this is. I should try to fix it a little bit. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Mirror mode. Okay, that part's actually fine. That part's actually also fine. Maybe it's symmetrical. It just looks weird because part of it's not built yet. Turn this off before I forget. I think I could try to maybe fight a boarding action against the pirates here. The problem is there's two of them, and I don't think I want to fight both. But I do have the targeting jammer online now, or I will very shortly here. There we go. Ideally, I'd like to get the pirate ships to split up somehow. I might chill in the sector and see if we can get them to part somehow. 
Oh, this has no power. That's not good. Uh, let's see. We can put a power node. Oops, we're out of system points. That's bad. Okay, so I can't actually get this to work right now unless I move an existing power node, which... Mm, that's going to break this hyperdrive, technically. I have to work that out. I'm, I'm not, not going to work that out with pirates coming into the sector. We're going to jump and then make some decisions about that after we jump. two pirate ships over here. Okay, we're gonna stop here for a second just to do some refactoring here. Um, ideally, I want to fit in another hull stabilizer, I think. We might think about converting this to a 2 by 3 I think that'd be a good idea. Um, here we go. So we can actually make that bigger now. Oop. That's actually... I think I want the hyperdrives to be all the way at the back. So we don't have to move those, because those are a pain to move. Maybe we'll do like that, and then we can build forward. I like that idea. Alright. Okay, so we got that. We'll figure out where we can put another hull stabilizer. Uh, let's see... hull stabilizer... Oh, we actually have room to put one over here. We didn't have to resize the canvas for that. Yeah, we can do that. Alright. So that's, I think, where the actual stabilizer falls on the ship blueprint here. We need more room for grow beds anyway. Let's just exp let's just build this whole thing out. And put some grow beds up there. We're out of hull blocks, but it'll just take a minute for the industry to get caught up. That might be all the system points we need. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna expand too much more than this because we're not building guns on board. I've got a whole party coming in here. Look at this: two pirates and two military lions. It'll be a big battle. Uh, I'd really like to get the hull stabilizer online by then, if possible, and so we can get the system points going. Uh, it's not far enough out. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to cancel all of this hull and just build that little segment so we can get the stabilizer online. build that another space inward, but I'd rather be symmetrical, I think. Do we not have enough blocks for this? We're out of tech blocks and energy blocks. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Hmm. Do we stick around and wait for everybody to get here? I think we're gonna go to battle stations when we get to like the TR mark. Let's have everybody. I think everybody's pretty well rested, so we're okay there. All right, 
Let's get everybody, let's get the hyperdrive wound up. Shields, ops, uh, we don't need turrets because we have none. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to wait for them to enter the sector. We'll let them shoot at each other a little bit. Hopefully one of these two pirate ships will leave the sector and that'll split them up. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully we don't take too much damage in the process. I'm going to have to wrap up the stream here in a minute, unfortunately. Let me get a quick time check. Um, yeah, i got to wrap up the stream in like one minute. So let's try to see what happens with this battle if we can. Look at this pirate ship design. That's a cool design. I've never seen that. Well, at least I haven't seen that one frequently. I would say never have seen it. The shield recharges. It's a very small shield, but it recharges quick. That's nice. Um, I don't want to shut down our hyperdrives because I don't. I want to be able to leave the sector at any time here. We're not taking damage to any critical systems really. We're pretty much shooting at each other mostly. these two ships haven't sent out boarding shuttles yet. Okay, one of their ships left the sector. That's good. So I think these guys are going to leave the sector shortly. Yeah, they're, they're demanding my surrender as they're preparing to flee the sector. That's hilarious. Okay. Alright, uh, that's going to have to be it for today's stream. I want to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did and it's your first time checking out the channel, don't forget to follow if you're watching on Twitch or subscribe. It's free if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, Rahal Dan, thanks for hanging out and I appreciate the um, feedback on the sound setup and I'll try to fix it for next time. Um, my next stream is probably not going to be until sometime early middle of next week uh, because I'm going to be on vacation going camping in the Adirondacks over the weekend. So looking forward to that. And I will see you next time. Have a good afternoon. Take care.